Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We are now in week 1, assignment 1 for the NPTEL course Operating System Fundamentals for July to October 2024 session. So let's get into the video and let's see the answers for this week's assignment. First question is, which of the following is not the responsibility of the operating system? The options given are resource management, controls the program execution, creation of a user-friendly environment, network management, and compiler design. So operating system is responsible for managing the resources, controlling the program execution, creation of a user-friendly environment, and to do network management. So the option to this, the right answer to this is compiler design. The next question is, choose the incorrect option. System programs are associated with the operating system. System programs are not necessarily part of the kernel. System programs interact with the kernel to manage hardware resources. System programs help the user to manage the files and system programs degrade the performance of the computer system. So a more common definition is that the operating system is that one program which, in, which is running at all times on the computer system. So this is call, usually called as the kernel. So along with the kernel, there are two other types of programs, namely system programs and application programs. System programs are those programs which are associated with the operating system, but they are not necessarily part of the kernel. And application programs include all programs which are associated with the operations of the computer system. So the options A, B, C, and D are all correct options. The answer to this is option E, system programs, they don't degrade the performance. So it's an incorrect option. Next question, which of the following is not an example of a system program? So they have given the options of disk cleanup tool, antivirus program, text editor, web browser, and grand unified bootloader loader. So Grand Unified Bootloader Loader is the loader for the Unix Linux type of operating systems. And um, an operating system controls and coordinates the use of hardware among various applications and users. An application program defines the ways in which the system resources are used to solve the computing problems of the users. So here they have asked, which is not an example of a system program, which means we have to say uh, among the given options, which are application programs. So generally, word processors, compilers, web browsers, database systems, and video games, they're all examples of application programs. So text editor and web browser will come under the category of application programs. So here, the right answer to this is, which is not an example of a system program is web browser is definitely not a system program. It is an application program. The next one is, what is the function of the command interpreter? Translating program written in a high-level language into machine code, memory management, executing the user-specified command, controlling the input-output operations, and managing the file system operations. So the function of the command interpreter here is, the right answer is executing the user-specified command. The next question is, which of the following is not part of a device controller? Which of the following is not part of a device controller? So the options given are data register, RAM, control register, status register, and DMA controller. So the answer to this is, a device controller normally has data registers, control registers, and status registers, and occasionally DMA controller also as part of it. The one which is not part of a device controller is the random access memory, which is RAM. The next question is direct memory access. DMA technique is used for what? The options are managing CPU clock speeds, transferring data between peripheral devices and memory without CPU intervention, managing hardware resources, managing the interrupts and executing the programs. So the right answer to this is transferring data between the peripheral devices and memory without the CPU intervention. The next question is, which of the following components is closest to the CPU? RAM, L1 cache, L2 cache, L3 cache, and secondary storage. So the right answer to this is a L1 cache. 
The next one is which of the following is incorrect for an interactive operating system. It is designed for batch processing. It is designed to achieve a response time as low as possible. It is designed to respond promptly to user inputs. It is suitable for multi-programming environment and it is suitable for multi-user system. So an interactive OS is suitable for a multi-programming environment and multi-user system. And it's designed to respond promptly to the user inputs. So the answer is which is incorrect for an interactive OS is it is designed for batch processing. So because an interactive operating system is considered to be an extension of a batch processing system. So the right answer is option A. Next question is, which of the following components do not need a device driver? Monitor, RAM, printer, mouse, and a keyboard. The right answer to this is RAM. The next question is, an interrupt may not occur when a hardware component encounters an error or a failure, when a data transfer between a peripheral device and memory is completed, when a user program requests to execute a system call when a disk operation is completed or when the computer system intentionally turns off the interrupts. So the right answer to this is whenever the interrupts are disabled by the computer system, then the interrupt obviously will not occur. In all other situations, the interrupts will occur. So that's all with the answers for week one assignment for the operating systems course. See you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.